Makeup professionals get questions daily, and most of the time they don't have answers, they have secrets. Here are a few we picked up. A lot of people ask me, what can they do when they don't have a lot of time or money to look their best? Makeup artist Candace Corey says the small things can make a big difference. Acai berry is one of her secret little weapons. And it's great to drink because it has high vitamins, it has high antioxidants, but it's also great to mix to make a mask, especially if you don't have money to be able to like get something really expensive. Combine acai juice with oatmeal until it thickens, then massage it onto your face like a scrub. I like how it doesn't you know, scratch the skin when it does like a light exfoliation. The nutrients from the juice will absorb into the skin. Another thing, don't skip the nighttime. That's when your body is fixing itself. So start using night creams and serums, using them back to back. People always say, why does my makeup fade? Am I picking the wrong thing? Sometimes it is because you don't apply your moisturizer correctly. First, make sure you have a definitely a clean face. Then I would say, when you put your moisturizer on, don't just put it on and go. If your skin feels dry after you apply your moisturizer, you haven't put on enough. Keep putting it on until it feels plump, because if it's not hydrated properly, what will happen is once you put foundation on, it'll absorb the moisture from the foundation, leaving only a residue. When your foundation is cakey and it looks thick, it's an application issue. You can use a foundation brush, a sponge, or even airbrush it on, but what you want is a foundation that's buildable. Don't just plop a lot on and smear it around and think that it's going to look great. Thin layers are actually better. Apply one thin layer all over, then pat more only where you need it. Also, after your foundation is on, wait a second, let it dry, and then use only a powder that's loose. Press into the skin and then dust the excess off. Then that way, it locks it in and it doesn't move. For touch-ups, do not reach for a compact. So instead, blot your face after it's totally finished blotting. Look and see if you really do need powder after that. Most of the time you don't, but if you do, only put it where you need to. A lot of times I like to suggest that you use an eyeshadow brush, really small in certain areas, as opposed to a big brush, and you're applying too much all over your face. I always get the question of why is my mascara clumpy? And the first thing I say, which always surprises people, is how do you take it off? Candace says, use an eye makeup remover every day. And use cotton, not acrylic, because acrylic cotton balls can actually scratch the surface of the skin. So using cotton, you put it on, hold it in the same direction as you put your mascara, which is up as opposed to down. Let it sit for a second. Don't rub it hard. If you rub it too hard, you can actually break off your lashes. Let it sit, let it break down what it needs to do, and start gently swiping it off. And what happens is it totally cleans off the mascara so the next application is nice and clean. If your mascara smears under your eye, it's probably because your wand is too big and designed for upper lashes. My suggestion is to go with a mascara specifically designed, like Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, which has a smaller wand, but it also has like a 24-hour lock, so underneath it doesn't smear. Eyeliner smears at the end of the day, which is a problem, but you don't necessarily need a different liner. Just don't use as much. What happens is, is that they forget that uh, eyeliner is basically a wax. Your body heats that up and it slides down. So my suggestion is to line only in the corner, a small amount, take a brush and blend it the rest of the way. Then top it with a matching eyeshadow powder and then it locks it in. And lastly, a little TLC for your lips. You can get a pack of emergency and just like it's great when you drink it, it's soft. So if you mix it with the balm and rub it on, the vitamin C actually helps give vitamins to the lips, but it scrubs off any dry areas. So the lips are nice and smooth. I use that trick a lot of times when I'm on set. <laughs> and for more makeup tricks, log on to livewellnetwork.com.